Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission with your host, Draco Thubin. Okay, so we have defeated Ridley, we have defeated Kraid. We have gotten a bunch of missiles, super missiles, and energy tanks. And uh, we still have a couple more things to get before we actually go and attack Mother Brain herself. So let's go do that. So here is one of them, and this is... This can be a bit tricky. So we open that, we've got to do that, and then we've got to make sure you press down so that you can store another shine spark in the ball, and that allows you to come over here and get this super missile tank. Um, tool assistant speedrunners can go in there um, and charge up the shine spark, jump up there, grab that missile, come back down, shine spark out, and do all that really quick, and I can't do it, so. That's why I get the missile that's up there earlier. Um, okay, so we've gotten that already. We've gotten what's in there. Um, okay. Oh, wait, where am I doing? I'm going the complete wrong way. Okay, so yeah, we did Kraid, we did that, we gotta go up there, we go, see the two fires? Yeah, that's where we wanna go. That's it. Originally where we get the long beam, now this is where people generally will, real speedrunners will choose to get the long beam at this point, because now we have to go that way and then not have to come out. But... I just do it this way. It's easy enough for me. So in the original Metroid, uh, instead of opening up like this uh, the two bosses would have been signified in their full selves and you shoot them and make a little bridge appear this one they open up and make a little path appear that's fine it, that's that's good you can't glitch it as easily uh, as you could in the original Metroid they uh, you could actually use a uh, an enemy in the room oh my gosh Metroids could actually use an enemy in the room to uh, bypass that, so you didn't actually have to kill either boss to get through the room. And they're after me. Okay, Metroids. Metroids are bad juju, but Metroids can be killed in one of two ways: either freeze and five missiles, or freeze and a super missile. I will be using freeze and five missiles because I want to keep my super missiles. I will need them. Whoa! Okay, and if they do latch onto you, you gotta bomb them off. There we go. But they shouldn't unless you're a complete idiot like I am. Okay, that's all. All in there anyway. I like how you can kind of see them coming from behind. From the background. In Super Metroid, they were pretty surprising too. It's just all of a sudden they were there, so it was kind of difficult sometimes. Whoa! Too many Metroids. No, no, too many Metroids. There we go. Oh, jeez. Okay, get off. Get off me! Okay, yes, I will continue on this one until uh, Mother Brain is dead. Um, and that's when I will take my next break. And I might start up another episode directly thereafter, but we'll see. Whoa. Depends on what kind of mood I'm in. Alright, cool, I got 12 super missiles. I can't remember if that's what I'm supposed to have at this point, but... 
We'll figure out later. When I care, I guess. Okay, almost to Mother Brain. Lots of Metroids in here. Or is it Metroid? Is it? Like, is that how it works? Is it, like, uh... The plural the same as the singular? Metroid and Metroid, or Metroid and Metroids? I don't know. Does it matter? Considering it's a made-up word? Just in case anybody doesn't know, Metroid is actually uh, combined using uh, Metro or, uh, or Subway and uh, Android. That's how the first game got its name. Metro Android. Okay, come on. Urgh! I don't like this part. There we go. Blow up. Get down from there. Silly Samus. Yeah, it can be very helpful to uh, freeze uh, those guys instead of just destroying them. Okay. Now, if you get knocked off by that beam or anything like that, she will close her eye and you don't get another shot to uh, hit it. You just gotta wait for her to shoot again. So I generally try to just wait for her to shoot so that I know how I'm going to get knocked back. And then I'll shoot a super missile at her eye. And that kills her. That's all you need. Right there. Boom. Done. And we're running out again. Now, um, I've actually found out that you can run out the other way. Um, you can leave to the right, backtrack all the way around, um... Whoa! Um, all the way underneath Zebeth again, and uh, get out that way. And uh, there, I've seen runs where they actually they kill the uh, worm boss and do a whole bunch of other things on the way out. It's actually kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I'm not doing it. If you want to see it, send me a message, and I'll point you towards the video. Maybe, if I remember. Alright, you gotta make sure you speed boost through that. That's the only way to break those blocks. And then, hey, we're in the ship and we're blasting off. So, job all done, everybody. Mother brain is destroyed. The plan is blowing up. And looks like uh, we did what we needed to do. Let's report back to headquarters. Mission's done. Uh, take off this sweaty suit. And relax. Oh wait, what's going on? Space pirates, run away! Pew 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 pew! Haha, <laughs> got away. What? I want to know where that shot comes from. Is this just random and out of nowhere? Just haha, <laughs> got you. If that was too fast for you and you want to read it, pause it. So now all we have is the auto charging pistol, no suits, no nothing. And we're in Chozodia. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Metroid Zero Mission. Thank you for joining me. I uh, will see you again next time. And good night. <laughs>